everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is going to be what I got my kids for Valentine's Day. And I love any sort of what I got my kids for Easter, Valentine's Day, Christmas. I think it's just so fun and I love seeing people's ideas. Now I know Valentine's Day isn't normally celebrate it all with the youngins or they may just get like a box of candy or something like that for me my mom always made the holidays big even if we didn't have a lot of money she figured it out she budgeted and she always made us feel special and included and gave us little presents and i loved that i have such good memories and it wasn't necessarily about the presents it was about how special i felt and how she made the holidays feel and how we all just hung out together and loved on each other and i love those memories and I want the, the girls to have them as well. Jazz and I don't spend a lot of, on each other during Valentine's Day. I don't get him some big gift. He doesn't give me some big gift. We've never done that even before we had kids. We just always went out for Valentine's Day. We always go to like maybe a nice restaurant or to a movie or like do something together for a nice date and kind of get away which is really nice for us but we don't spend a whole lot of money on gifts for the other person so that's allowed me to save a little bit and be able to spend it on the girls now this year will be eleanor's first valentine's day but this will be olive's fourth valentine's day and i've always done a valentine's day for her i've always let her have gifts and just enjoy it and they're nothing big it's nothing too crazy i think i spent like 40 on each kid so I mean I haven't spent like a whole lot of money um, but it's still nice and I know she liked it when she was younger and I'm sure she's gonna love it now that she's more aware of everything so but I just wanted to put that disclaimer for you guys to be like why did you get your kid all this stuff like it's only Valentine's Day because I want to okay I don't buy them a whole lot of toys throughout the year we don't go to the store and they don't just pick out a doll or whatever like their toys come mostly from like the holidays um, or their birthday and stuff like that. So that is that disclaimer. And I also wanted to say because I feel like I have a lot of different things that will be great if you just was like, oh, I just want to get them a book, don't know what book, or I just want to get them a toy, don't know what toy, or whatever it is. Like, I feel like I have a good mixture in here of things that are perfectly like suitable if you just want to get them a small Valentine. And I think I have a lot of ideas that these. All this whole gift thing could just be easily broken apart and like oh this is perfect let me go get that so I hope I give you guys some ideas too so let's get started I'm done talking about all of that so the first thing I want to talk about are these little felt envelopes we have a Paw Patrol one here and a Minnie and Daisy one right here these were in my Target haul I got them in the Target dollar spot um, these were $3, which I think honestly was a little pricey for what they are, but they're really cute and I think that they're nice enough to be able to last for multiple years. So the girls will get these on Valentine's Day, but I feel like after that when Valentine's Day comes around, it'll be kind of nice to kind of hang these up so they know what to expect and they're excited. <coughs> oh, did me, see? That was weird. Anyway. So this is Olive's, my oldest, she is three, and she's obsessed with Paw Patrol, so she has this one. And then my youngest, who's about to be one in March, is Minnie and Daisy. So these are great because these are perfect size to fit a little toy, or a box of candy, or whatever you have that are, you know, it's cute. And I think this is a great size if you want to do something, but don't want to go crazy, these are nice. Um, but if you don't have a kid that likes either of these things or you have an older kid or you want to get it for a significant other or a friend or something, they do have these in the dollar section that I want to say are just a dollar or maybe they are still three dollars that are just plain. They may just like be just pink or just red. So if you want just plain ones without all the extra pizzazz, then they do have those there too. The next thing I really want to quickly talk about, um, Dollar Tree hit it out of the park this year with I feel like they're like gift bags and stuff they look really nice and gift bags are stupid expensive for what they are to me I just I'm always I always go to Dollar Tree for gift bags <laughs> so I'm like I'm not spending five dollars on a gift bag I just think that's stupid anyway um so this is these are just the little gift bags that whatever doesn't fit in their little valentine um felt thing their stuff will go in here Olive picked this one out for herself yesterday it's super glittery and sparkly and this one is for Eleanor also glittery and sparkly they match they're really cute I just wanted to say go to Dollar Tree for gift bags for Valentine's Day they have all different styles too not just glitter and sparkle they have like really cute like matte looking like 
craft paper kind of ones. Super cute. Anyway, okay. Now let's get started on the actual gift giving. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about, my brow straps are always showing and I'm always looking so tacky. Anyway, the first thing I want to talk about, I already shared one of the kids' stuff with you in the Target Dollar Haul, and that is the plate. Now, the reason that I got this, and this is another great thing, I think that one will fit perfectly in their little Valentine felt things, but also really good because these are useful gifts, um, and they're fun gifts for the kids. It's exciting to get like a new plate to use and stuff, but it's also still useful for you guys. You don't feel like you're just giving them toys and junk. Um, these were from Target. The, I think this was like $2. It was inexpensive. It wasn't in like the dollar section. It was in like the regular kids cup and plates and stuff area, but it's from Zach. I know it is a good brand. It's nice and heavy duty. It is BPA free. This one was just frozen. I loved Olaf up here. I think it's so cute. They also obviously had them in different characters. And um, I got her, this is for Olive, like I said, my oldest, and I got her, these were in the Valentine section, and these were just like little purple fork and spoon. They also had like a red, red and a teal. I didn't, they had Valentine's plates if you want to go that route. I just didn't like them this year. I just didn't like the design. So I ended up going and pick one, something that she can use year round that's not obvious Valentine's. So that is hers. Now that I have two kiddos, we are like running mad out of two kiddos that are eating, I guess I should say, like normal food. Or we are just constantly washing dishes and stuff because we don't have enough. So that's like, this is a perfect option for that. Eleanor's is this though. <laughs> this is the newbie baby led feeding. So I guess similar to like the baby led weaning kind of thing. Um, little suction plate. Now, all of it was like the most well-behaved baby, and we never had issues with her throwing her cups and plates and stuff off her high chair. Um, Eleanor's like the rebel without a cause. I know it's totally normal for babies to do that, but she does not care. So she will eat what she wants mostly. I mean, she eats everything. She's a eater. Food is her life. And I mean, but if there are crumbs or juices or something, it will be on the floor within seconds. Or So we try not to do that, but it gets really annoying when there's just food all over the table and it gets, it's just, I want a plate. <laughs> so plus I think it's good to teach her that things stay in a plate, you know, and to help teach her to learn to keep things on your table so she can't pick this up. I know there's been things in the past that suction, they're not always that good. I've heard such good things from, such good things from these. Um, so this is just the Newbie Sure Grip Silicone Mat. So it's a plate, but it's technically still a mat too. So it does rim on the outside to help get any extra crumbs. They have them in different styles. They have like a purple basic one here and they have different animals, but this is just a cute little like red teddy bear. It suctions. It's 100% silicone. You can wash it in the dishwasher. I think this is a great thing to when you kiddos start actually eating solid foods, like regular people food, to kind of introduce them to. So I'm really excited. I think she's actually really going to like this. So um, hopefully, I will let you guys know if you're interested if this thing actually like suctions like it's supposed to. I think they are regularly around $7, but I'm pretty sure I got this for $5 or $4 from Walmart um, on sale, so definitely keep an eye out. But I know you can get these type of things everywhere, but Newbie's a good brand, so we're going to try it out. Alright, the next thing I want to show you guys are books. Now, just like in Christmas, books are super important to me and something that I always want to give them for whatever holiday. It's something to encourage their education, but also to encourage their reading. I love reading. Reading is super important to me and it's been a huge part of my life and just a great escape route. But I know that reading, sometimes people really hate reading. Like my husband hates reading, will not read books. He doesn't like it. And it just makes me sad. Like, I want my girls to love reading books. Like, I can't wait to read with them Harry Potter when they get older. Like, I'm just, Chronicles of Narnia, I'm just so excited. I love books, and I want them to enjoy books, too. So I feel like that starts when they're young, and just constantly encouraging them to read and get them excited about reading. So, um, for Eleanor, we got the Baby's First Words book. Um, this is something that is like so highly rated on the internet. I constantly see on like Amazon or Walmart or just like randomly advertised or on Pinterest. People constantly talk about the baby's like first word 
100 word books. I think there's different styles of this book. Um, this is just the one that I found. I got this on Amazon or Walmart for I want to say five dollars. It was $8.95 or it retails for $8.95 but I got it cheaper than that. Um, and it's just it's at first when I opened it and I was like what's so great about it but now I can totally see the appeal for babies. So basically it just opens and it's like a grid full of all different colored pictures and they break into categories. So this one's colors so you have like the yellow duckling, the pink flower, the orange fish and then over here it says things that go and you have a motorcycle, a tractor and then the thing that I really like about it is it introduces them to words of things that they see a lot. So we have bath time where they have a bathtub and their potty and a brush and things that they're going to want to learn the words for because there are things that they see in their day-to-day -day life. Um, we have the bedtime one there's like meal time and food and so I don't know I like it I liked it a lot it's colorful it's fun the pages are big the pictures are nice it's nice I think that Eleanor's really gonna love it because she's really starting to get into books they have animals um, so okay so the next thing is Olive's book now I couldn't decide if I want to get her like a cutesy kind of book um, ones that are like really popular like Dragon Loves Tacos I think it's like the really cool one now or um, and one of the other ones that are like real cool. I don't know. That's just the one that came to my head. And I could decide if I wanted to get her that or if I wanted to get her something that I knew that she'd be really, really into. Not that I don't think she wouldn't like that book because I'm sure she would, but something right off the bat that she'd see and want to start reading. So I ended up getting it for her anyway, and it's Paw Patrol. Like I said, you saw with the felt envelope, the kid loves Paw Patrol. So. I got her this. This retails for $10.99 and I got it for I think $7.99 um, at Walmart. Walmart everything, man. Um, it comes in a little Velcro box and it's actually four books. Now when I first opened these books, I was nervous because I thought that they, they look like, you can see them, they look like easy reader books. Like something you get for like kindergartners and stuff and I just don't, she's not ready for that. But I realized that they are board books, but something that I really liked about that was because I think this is awesome if you have an older child and a younger child and the younger child wants to be like their older sibling and who maybe be reading the easy readers, these look like it. So I feel like it makes them feel excited like they have their big kid books too. So this one just has Rocking Rebel, um, Marshall and Sky, Chase and Zuma, and rescue team so and I mean they're pretty basic I mean it's a board book but they do have a couple sentences per page nice pictures but they're not too long where she won't she won't you know like be attentive she still is only three so her attention span isn't super long yet but I think she's really gonna like these and it come with a pack of four so when plus it comes keeps them in the box which hopefully we can keep them in the box but anyway totally worth it I don't know if they have like other characters in this type of vibe. I'm sure they do. I just had seen these, so that is her book. Along the same lines of books, well, sort of, I want to build our movie collection. Now, I have movies from back when I was a kid, like Aladdin, and well, when I was a kid, everything was on VHS, all right? I've now purchased movies from when I was a kid on DVDs, <laughs> but we have like Aladdin, Tangled, Swan Princess. Does anyone remember Swan Princess? That was my jam, guys. I watched that movie over and over and over and over again. If you guys remember Swan Princess, please comment down below. Thumbelina, Swan Princess, what was the other one? Anna, Anastasia and Hocus Pocus were like my movies. I watched them all the time year round. I mean, Hocus Pocus, I watched year round. Those were my things when I was a kid. Let me know below if, though, if you like ever did those either. Um, or watch those all the time too. My point is, is I have a lot of movies from when I was a kid, but I don't have a whole lot of stuff from the girls ages now and stuff that's cool and popular now. Um, and I also don't have a lot of kids shows. Now we watch, we don't have cable, we just watch Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, we have Amazon Prime. We've had pretty much all the streaming services, but we don't actually have cable. And I'm just over watching the shows that are on the streaming services. Like, I I never want to see Peppa Pig, PJ Masks, Doc McStuffins again. Like, if I see them when I'm 70, it'll be too soon. But I still have to see them because my kids are obsessed with them. But I need some variety, guys. You think that all the streaming services would provide me enough variety, but it does not. So, I'm now trying to build up their kid shows and things that they really enjoy to watch, too. 
So um, one thing that they don't have any streaming services is Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, which is surprising because they have a lot of like Disney Junior stuff, but they don't have Mickey Mouse. And I got this for Eleanor actually, even though she much prefers Baby Einstein. And let me tell you, I've never seen a kid more excited for a show than she gets over Baby Einstein's. Um, she really likes the voices in Mickey Mouse, so specifically Minnie's because it's high and squeaky. So I think this will be something she enjoys too, and it's something that Olive will also like. And I also picked up this. This is like, once again, Bob Patrol. She's outside the door, so I'm trying not to talk too loud. Um, we don't have this. They don't have it on any of the streaming services either. And I cannot tell you how many times this kid asked to watch it all the time. Every day, every hour, we want to watch this thing. But we don't have it here, so they have it at my mom's house. She has cable, so that's when she gets to soak up the Bob Patrol time. But anyway, I decided to get her her own. They have tons of different Paw Patrol DVDs, just like they have tons of, tons of different Mickey DVDs. But um, this is like, I think like the first main one. So this is what we got. These were both um, under $10, I think, at Walmart. So this is our movie section that we started. Okay, moving on. I got this random. <laughs> I can't decide who I'm going to give this to. I think Ollie will like it for its actual, like, purpose, but I think Eleanor will like it because it's cute um, and, like, fun and fuzzy. But I got this little tiny pouch, little purse. This was from Daiso, and it was $1.50, and it's just a tiny, itty bitty little purse. But I think I'm going to give it to Ollie because I think she will use it, whereas Eleanor will just chew on it, so, but still cute. And then for their treats, um, I didn't buy a whole lot. Eleanor will get like, she'll get a couple pouches and like some puffs, but I just haven't purchased them yet because, I mean, it's not even February. But I did pick up these for all of this movie dollar store yesterday. So we got some sweet tarts and they're in just a little, little plastic cart, which she will end up loving because she will love anything that's like eggs and she can hide things and act like it's a surprise toy. And then I got her some Mickey Mouse Mini your sweet crispy chocolate heart valentine um i don't know if these are actually good she'll probably let me know that and this is her valentine candy okay now we are moving on to the bigger items now when i say bigger items i don't mean like i i mean that's probably sounding ridiculous you're like it's valentine's day but these are like your big gift <laughs> Um, on the whole, I probably only spent like $40 per child, which may also seem crazy, but to me it's, it's not, it's not that bad. So, um, I, like I said, I kind of saved instead of buying my husband a gift that was like $100 or whatever, I bought my kids gifts. So, anyway, that's going to sound bad too. Like, sorry honey, you don't get anything, but we go out, we go out, we do what we always do, so it's not abnormal. Anyway, okay, <laughs> this is what Eleanor got. So, we, I bought her a backpack. This will be great for not only her, but for her sister to keep extra clothes, diapers, panties, toys, food, you name it, it'll be in here, and I just know, like, designated. Basically a diaper bag, but just a little less diaper baggy, you know? She's moving to toddlerhood, where she needs a little less, like, she's not gonna have formula and bottles everywhere, but we still need to keep things. Um, so this is just from Amazon. I want to say this was like $15. It has cute little patches of Hello Kitty. Um, Hello Kitty bow in the back. It's canvas. It's not like the most well-made backpack in the whole entire world, but it was only $15. It has the front zipper pouch and then the inside is just basic. It's red though, so it's cute in Hello Kitty. Um, and it's perfect. I mean, it's perfect for her. And the thing is, it's funny because she's really started getting into playing with backpacks. Like her sisters or like when <laughs> we have play dates and stuff, she always goes to find like, the diaper bags. She loves playing with bags. So, I mean, it's, it ends up being kind of like a present for her too. So she'll actually really appreciate it. She'll like want to play with the zipper poles and stuff. So, you know, it worked out. Um, but this is her main gift. Now, for Olive, um, she has her ears pierced, if you guys didn't know that. I don't know how you would know that. I never mentioned that before. But she has her ears pierced. She's had them since she was six months old. 
you can judge me if you want for doing that. I did it. She cried for like two seconds, and then she realized there was like a bunch of people watching and seeing how cute she was, and then she put on a big show, and I mean, she like, it didn't phase her. She's never been bothered by them. She's now obsessed with the fact of wearing jewelry. And she recently told my mother <laughs> that she wanted a new pair of earrings, and it was funny because I was planning on getting her a new pair of earrings when she mentioned that on. So it's funny that it just worked out perfectly. Um, I've never really purchased them for her before. My mother-in-law's bought her a couple and my mom has bought her a couple and she's been wearing the pearls that my mom bought her from Nordstrom's for like a year and a half now. It's been a long time. So I thought it would be sweet until she gets old enough to have a significant other buy her jewelry um, or herself, whoever. I thought it'd be fun to kind of like be the first person to buy her her first pair of earrings like that, you know, like for Valentine's Day. It's fun. Like, I think it's cute, you know, like maybe later down the road she'll have a boyfriend who buys her earrings or something for Valentine's Day. It's fun to be like the first person. I'm actually going to have her daddy give them to her for, you know, like the first man in her life. Anyway, I think it's cute. It's probably cheesy. But I got her a pair of, to keep up with the Hello Kitty theme, Hello Kitty earrings. Now she's obsessed with Hello Kitty. Um... So we got these. These were like $17 from Walmart, so like really similar to Eleanor's backpack, if I can get it to focus. So this is what they are. They're just these really cute, basically Hello Kitty heads. Nothing too exciting. They're sterling silver though, so hopefully she doesn't have any problems with them um, reacting. I know that I can't really wear any like things that aren't sterling silver um, because my ears just get like infected. I still do it because I'm stupid. Um, but when I was a kid, like I, whenever I tried wearing it, I get like really infected ear. So I'm really hoping that's not an issue with her, but who knows? So I decided not, there's a hair on it. I decided not to take that chance. Um, that being the trend, I really also wanted to get her a jewelry box, but I figured one that I was spending too much money and I kind of had a limit for each kid. And I couldn't decide on the jewelry box I wanted to give her anyway. I got a jewelry box when I was, um, around her age too and I wanted something similar to was when I was a little girl. I just couldn't decide on the one I wanted to get. So I will get that for another day. Um, but I did find something from Dollar Tree. Like I said, their gift section of like gift bags and stuff, gift boxes has been good. They've been like stepping up their game. So I got her just this little magnetic gift box. It says be kind, be brave, be thankful, be yourself. Now every night I ask her are you kind? Are you loving? Are you smart? Are you important? Are you brave? Are you strong? Are you creative? Are you thankful? I mean, I break up each question um, and she says yes after each one and I just constantly want to encourage her to realize that she is those things and to believe in herself and believe those things about herself. So I just thought these were cute ones. It says be kind, be brave, be thankful, be yourself. I just love that because we do, I mean, are you kind? Are you brave? Are you thankful? I love that stuff. So. Um, thought this was perfect for her, so it's going to be perfect to keep her little jewels in for now, plus she loves little boxes, so it'll be easy, and, um, you know, perfect. I found these from Hobby Lobby, they're just cheap, I mean, they're not exciting, but these were $2.99, and um, I think they were 50% off, so I just got her this, like, rainbow necklace with cute little hearts, and a matching bracelet. Um, like I said, nothing too exciting, but she's getting into wearing, like, the cute little kid jewelry so I think that'll be fun to add to her Hello Kitty earrings so she has like a full little accessory set going on even if they don't match but okay and that is oh no this okay we have one more thing it's kind of a random thing and the reason I got this is because these are kind of a necessity these are a little bit more pricey than everything else I think these are the most expensive thing um, so, I did go over $40, I guess, but I'm not technically really adding this into the budget because they're things that she needed, but these are a good option. I know a lot of people give rain boots to their kiddos for, like, Easter times and their Easter baskets and stuff, but for Texas, we don't get a whole lot of, like, snow or really ice, um, but we do get a lot of rain, and it starts around February. So, for us, it makes more sense to do rain boots a bit earlier than waiting until like late March, April, um, because it's just, we need them before then. So I got her her rain boots. Now she's been wearing a pair of rain boots for like three years now. I bought them way too big 
and she's been wearing them for a long time but now she's finally starting to grow out of them they are so cute though i got them from zoo lily and i cannot remember the brand but i think if i ever find that brand again i'm definitely buying them because they look barely worn and she's worn them for three years so i can't wait because i don't want to be able to fit them and they'll look brand new um but i got these ones from zoo lily they are from a brand called okai oki o-a-k-i um, and I do believe that I did see them online at Walmart as well. They have all different prints. Um, these ones just happen to be kind of like these unicorns and hearts. They look kind of dreamy and cute. Um, I got them in like a purple. Um, she has tons of pink and I just thought these were nice because they're different than being pink. And she may match better if I got her pink rain boots, but I figured we need to, we need to switch it up, you know? Uh, they're still really cute and girly, but they're not just hot pink, everything. Um, I like the quality of these. I like, it's like, um, cloth inside, like sweater kind of, not sweater, but it's cloth, um, which is nice because the other ones she has don't have that and they're kind of annoying to get in and out of, but these help with like the sliding in. Um, and they also have the little handles to help her kind of learn to pull them on herself. I want to say these were like $19. Um... But yeah, I think they're really cute and it's perfect. So, I mean, these are great too if you were thinking about Easter and you're like, what do I get my kiddo for Easter? Rain boots are always a good option for that. But I like to get them during Valentine's Day because our rain starts early. I think that is it now. I am getting Eleanor shoes, by the way, too. Don't feel like, oh, well, I didn't get Eleanor. But Eleanor is still little. She's now starting to walk. She's 10 months going, she's about to be 11 months. Um, on February 6th. So she's almost a year old, but she's just now starting to walk and when they're learning to walk You really want them to be able to be flat-footed barefoot so they can really learn how their foot goes on the ground correctly to kind of grip too um, And so she hasn't really needed them yet. Plus I don't like to let her walk around in like public places It's only at home, but soon during the summertime she'll get older and she'll need like an actual shoe so um and she's crying now because she just woke up from a nap. Just, let's just finish this real quick. Anyway, I'm trying to figure out what size to get her and what shoe to get her. So I will get her in shoes. It's just not yet. Um, that's it. That's all I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I gave you some ideas. I know Valentine's Day can be kind of weird. If like, what do I get a kid for Valentine's Day? Because you automatically, I think, think like romance. But I think there are tons of little things you get them. Like a dinner plate, some rain boots, some cheap jewelry. A movie a book whatever there's so many different options and i hope i gave you guys some um i hope you guys are having a wonderful end of your january and as the valentine's day season starts even if you don't have anybody any love interest in your life just i love valentine's day i think it's fun and girly and it just feels good to see a bunch of pink and red and hearts and just be happy guys because love is all around man it makes me think about love actually anyway um, I hope you guys, like I said, are having a good day, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Please subscribe. It would mean the world to me if you guys subscribed and leave a comment below on any videos that you would like to see in the future. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.